Assalamu alaikum. Let's talk about now who are the players in information security. And we will look at the entire ecosystem of information security and who are the players and what activities do they conduct. There is the government, the industry and sectors, and industry, for example, telecom industry, banking industry, international organizations, professional associations, academia and research organizations, and vendors and suppliers. All these entities have a role to play in the cybersecurity or information security ecosystem. Let's look, have a look first at the government. The government conducts policy making, and in 2016, a cybersecurity law was enacted in the country after several years. There is law enforcement, which is conducted by the FIA, Federal Investigation Agency, NR3C Wing, which is a national uh, cyber, cyber crime wing. And they conduct investigation and prosecution for incidents in which involve cybersecurity. And then there is a legal system. So when the FIA NR3C cybersecurity wing actually investigates and prosecutes somebody, they take it to the court so that the person can be convicted of an offense. And then we have the national cybersecurity strategy and standards, which have to be set by the government, taking on board all the various entities so that the entire ecosystem of the country can work together to improve the cybersecurity posture of the country. There is international coordination, for example, through Interpol. And, you know, that we all know that there are no borders as far as the Internet is concerned. And an attacker may be sitting in another country and may attack the IT assets or critical infrastructure of a different country. And international organizations have to cooperate so that they bring the people who broke the law or who brought harm to justice. And then we have Computer Incident Response Team, which is called a CERT. And this is an organization which detects if there has been an attack on, for example, the national infrastructure, the banking or the telecom or the computer systems of the country. What is the condition of the malware and the posture of the malware? And what are the trends in that? And then if there is an attack, then they help to recover from that attack. And that is called Computer Incident Response Team. Now, the industry and sectors consist of, for example, the financial institutions, telecoms, armed forces, federal and provincial IT boards who are responsible for regulating and conducting the information technology for their province. For example, we have the Punjab Information Technology Board or the Sindh IT Board. And these organizations help to regulate the government functions through IT automation. Then we have enterprises, which is companies. And we have various other sectors, manufacturing, automotive, health, insurance. And all of these sectors actually consist of users of information technology and organizations who are processing IT and, and have data processing facilities, and those need to be protected. Then we have international organizations, for example, APCERT, the Asia-Pacific Computer Emergency Response Team, which is www.apcert.org should actually have a look here on this website and they are conducting a lot of activities and there's a lot of member countries in the whole of Asia Pacific and they coordinate to share information for cyber attacks and to protect against cyber attacks and to watch trends for malware and attacks in the whole region. And then we have the European Union Agency for Network and Information Security, which is ANISA. ENISA.org, and this is also an international organization which conducts cooperation between member countries so that countries can work together for cybersecurity posture improvement. Also, in the international organizations, we have ITU, which is International Telecommunication Union Impact, and they have various programs for training and awareness and for cybersecurity protection of the member countries. Talking about professional associations, they have a very important role to play, such as ISACA. And they have various certifications and various programs, educational programs, and they are, these certifications are, are taken up and, and studied and passed by thousands of information security professionals all over the world. And they are also accepted all over the world. And then we have ISC2, which is also a, 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 a body which develops content 
and training programs for information security. We have Cloud Security Alliance and Pakistan Cybersecurity Association, for example. Now, cloudsecurityalliance.org is a, is a great website, and you should look at this. And related to the cloud, the information security aspects are all researched and covered on their website. Now, in academia and research organizations, they also have a very important role to play. And these consist of universities and various research programs, which may also be part of the government or may be independent. And examples are SANS.org, which is shown on your screen. And what they have done is that they do research and they publish papers and they publish benchmarks. And they also guide how to implement information security for everyone, and, it's all, and mostly their material is free. They also conduct training, and they have online and classroom-based training, for example. And then we have Center for Internet Security, which is CIS, which is cisecurity.org, and this is one of the leading organizations all around the world which conducts research on how to harden IT assets, and they issue security controls for various IT assets, such as Windows or Oracle or a Cisco firewall, and they give us checklists so that we can follow those and implement security hardening. And you should definitely look at this website as well. That's all for this video. Thank you.